WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside. Dow's up 350 points. It's a little over 1%, 1 and 1 tenth, 1 and 2 tenths percent for the S&P or 49 points, a little over 2% for the NASDAQ, 283, 7 tenths for the uh, Russell. That's uh, about 13 points, nearly 5% for the semis. It's 157 points to the upside. <laughs> Uh, you got gold off three bucks, silver's up 36 cents, nice move there. Lights we crude is up 44 pennies, natural gas is off eight cents in a 30 treasury, printing out at 125.07. That is off 10 ticks. Let's take a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. Whoops, that was not it. It is this ES mini upper left hand side. So right now, you've got the ES mini that is taking on resistance. Resistance is the top of its daily profile. That's at the 4206 level. You can see a descending trend line resistance area. That price point, I would say today would be about 4226. So kind of use that as a guideline. Spot volatilix is now below its 50 day exponential moving average. That is a bullish signal for the S&P 500 for the ES mini. The NQ is now negating its Rhodes Mintum indicator top. And its next price projection level and its A to B equals CD would be 14591. That would be the 1 to 1.272 price projection level. U.S. dollar index is in a rally of its own, likely headed up to the 10440 level. That's a 0.786 retracement there. So we got the U.S. dollar moving higher. We got the equity markets moving higher and especially the NQ. And that is a common occurrence these days. And we want to pay close attention to that, folks, because when these markets really start getting ramped up to the upside, we're going to have the dollar move higher, gold move higher, and the equity markets. Speaking of gold, gold right now is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. And that level to be watched is 1945.50. We're trading at 1941 right now. Uh, silver, I don't really have a bottoming pattern out here. There's no A to B equals CD. You do have a bullish engulfing candle, but price remains below the bottom of its daily profile, so a bit suspect. We'll have to study silver when we uh, do the Trader's Edge show. With regard to light sweet crude, it's just been a sideways consolidation for a couple of weeks out here. In the case of natural gas, it's getting back to test support. That is the bottom of its daily profile. That's at $2.36. And we can see in the case of 30-year Treasury, which did have that consolidation, it is now completely completing its measured move. So folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your Friday, have a fantastic day, a fantastic weekend. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.